All right, all right, Rad Nation. Today we're gonna to be talking about the KVP waveform in your x-ray tube coming up here at How Radiology Works. If you haven't seen our video, we have one on AC versus DC, which is alternating versus direct current. Alternating current actually won the day. It's basically what we use all throughout our houses, our hospitals, everything in our electrical network is built off of AC current has a lot of advantages as far as being able to use what we call transformers to change the voltage from one voltage to another. See our videos on the x-ray circuit and on transformers if you haven't already. Coming in with alternating current, we would actually not want the KVP to be alternating up and down the voltage. It's going up and down and up and down. This is our voltage over time. This is what we call an alternating current. There are actually semiconductor devices called diodes. And what a diode is, is a one-way street for the electrical signal. If you have a diode in one direction, it's actually going to stop the signal. You could take a signal that looks like this coming in, and you could convert it such that anywhere that was negative, it would actually get clipped to zero. So the value would go to zero here and to zero here. This is actually the simplest way, and it's what we call half wave rectification. Half wave means we're only actually getting half of the wave coming out. The other half is just getting clipped or chopped off. So that's really not very efficient. Half wave wasn't gonna be good enough. We want the full wave. Instead of using just one of those diodes, if we put four of them in a little diamond configuration like this, again, the input is that alternating current like we were talking about. We have one-way streets, so at one time can only take one of the one-way streets, but then you can switch to take the other one-way street before we were actually cropping everything that was below zero. Now you can think about, it's like taking the absolute value of our, of our signal, again, doing so in an analog manner with this rectification circuit. This is called rectifying when we're taking our signal that had positive and negatives and eliminating all the negative values, such that we're getting only positive values, in this case, the full wave rectification. When we define heat units later on, this is actually gonna come into play again because this type of full wave rectification was done in the early days of X-ray, so a lot of the units actually are related to this type of full wave rectification. You can see that even with this full wave rectification, there's a lot of up and down in our signal here, that's what we call ripple in the signal because it's going up and down. And what we want is actually less ripple. We'd like something to be closer to a constant value. We can achieve this by actually having three different signals that we send in. And we send each of those signals in out of phase a little bit. That means we send one signal in and then we wait for one third of the cycle of that signal and then we send another one in. With the same, it's just delayed by one third of the cycle. Then we wait for another one third and we send in. So we get something that looks like this. You can see now we have three different cycles that are going on all at the same time. We're gonna use that so we don't have as much ripple in our signal. Take that signal in and then we put it through half wave rectifiers and then we actually combine those together we can get a signal that looks like this. So if you see this signal now coming out of what we call the three phase input, now there's significantly less ripple. You can still see a little bit of ripple or change in the KVP over time, but it's significantly reduced. On modern systems, you're typically gonna have what's called a high frequency inverter, and that has even less ripple. And it's really desirable to have that high frequency inverter because instead of using just the oscillations from the wall current, you can actually increase the frequency or make those oscillations occur much more often. And by doing so, that is actually gonna help reduce the ripples in your actual signal coming out. Now I know the basics of the KVP waveform and how it's formed by rectification or high frequency inverters in your x-ray tubes. See our video about the X-ray circuit, which is actually gonna bring these pieces together 